Hi, this is Duct Tape Susie, and basically what I'm showing you is um, the purse I've been carrying around for six months. This was the very first duct tape purse that I ever made, and I wanted to wanted to keep my very first purse I ever made just so I could have it for later on down the road. So instead, I decided to use it, and I've been using it every single day. And I haul all kinds of stuff in here, packages you wouldn't believe. Everything I take to the post office, I carry in here, except for maybe like the bigger packages. So um, basically, I just want to show you the wear and tear that it's taken for six months, which is basically not a whole lot. Um, you'll see the handles are a little roughed up. And um, the inside, I'll show you really quick, it's just basic um, black inside kind of hard to tell that it's even black because it's so black in there um, and then there's one pocket right here which is a zebra pocket and then I did the side zebra as you can see there and that's basically all that's in this purse and um, yeah my bed's full with all the stuff that was in it so I'm just going to show you really quickly the wear and tear on it you can see the handle kind of was wanting to come off at some point but for six months I've been using this every single day um, and I've never had to repair anything on this ever and um, I made a matching wallet about three months ago and I've been using it every day ever since and this is actually my own layout which is a three card pocket expanded bottom expanded top and ID and coin pouch um, so basically there's not a whole lot of wear and tear on this either for three months other than the simple fact that the coin pouch, I would load up with change and not take the change out for like a month at a time. And so it, it wore a hole in it on the side there. Yeah. <laughs> so I thought since I it was time to retire this purse, um, it's been six months. And as you can see, it's actually worth it because any purse, it doesn't necessarily mean it's a duct tape purse. Any purse that you buy, period goes through a lot of wear and tear after six months um, inside lining usually tears I've had zippers break and a lot of things happen to purses after six months so surprisingly this held together pretty well um, I'm not throwing it out I'm planning on keeping it just because it is my first purse that I ever made but as you can see the bottom's still intact the handles are still intact it's in pretty good shape for six months of duct tape usage or of everything usage just made out of duct tape and there's like no cardboard it's basically all duct tape the entire thing there's not nothing else on here that's not duct tape so I decided to come up with something new and I featured a wallet a couple of weeks ago sorry my dog's playing with her toy right now <laughs> I showed this wallet like it might have been a week ago um, and I fell in love with it every day I looked at it I was just thinking I've got to have this I know I made it and I can have it but I want it mine so I decided that I'm going to make a matching purse and so here's the matching purse let me make it a little bigger for you here um, and it's a huge purse it's 13 inches in width and it is I believe eight inches, eight and a half inches, eight and a half inches tall. And um, it's got rounded edges here. On the, I mean, rounded sides. Rounded sides. And a whoops, a big flat bottom, huge bottom. And um, yeah, so I'll run through it really fast. The strap is um, made out of duct tape, obviously. And I just use these um, brads with little gemstones on them. And you just puncture a little hole in your duct tape with your X-Acto knife. And you push the brad through, you spread the backs, and then you cover it up with duct tape afterwards. And this is an actual belt buckle that you can buy like at any craft store. I actually got it on sale for a quarter. So I thought I would use it. These are little eyelets. Um, they come in a packaging like this. It's called large eyelets. And I also use those to hold the handles in right here on the side. Um, yeah, so, and then I put two more brads right here, and they're really cute, you can, they, have, they come in different gems, you can get them at any crafting store, 
um, even dollar days. I know sells a, sells a lot of scrapbook stuff there. So um, that's basically I got out of my scrapbook stuff. All the stuff I actually had here. It's actually really big. I'll show you the inside. It's um, wide. I have a divider in the middle, and it's got a zipper on it. And I'll show you that. It's actually really wide. And I did do it all in chrome, but I clear taped it because I want it to last forever. So basically I just added one pocket on the side for now, which is right here. It's kind of hard to tell because the entire purse is black inside. And I like to do black inside purses just because it doesn't show the dirt as much. Um, yeah. But although it is a little hard to find your stuff sometimes too. So this is the new purse I'll be sporting. And the strap, I'll just show you really quickly. I had, I was going through a bunch of different scenarios and how I wanted to do my strap. I wasn't sure. Um, so I couldn't find the silver findings I was looking for in my house. So I'm going to, when I go out shopping Wednesday, I will look then and maybe readjust that too. But it's just basically a strap and I did chrome on the inside like that and fold it over the edges so there's no rough edges. Um, yeah, so basically that's my new purse and you already seen the wallet. So there's that. And I would like to see what you're carrying around. If you've made purses and you carry them around, I'd like to see that too. So if you want, you can post a video response or a link me to your videos because I'm really interested to see the different purses that people make. And um, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my new purse and my old one. <laughs> So thanks, bye.